Hello, welcome back, Hand of Fate 2. I do not know what the usurper has done with my game. Oh, no. He will have improved it, I am sure, as I improved the game of my predecessor. Today, we'll go... It is not one game now, but a score, each with its own nuance and delicate approach. Today, we'll go and try our forces in... The Emperor. Thieves have stolen a relic from the Emperor's palace. The Empire are looking for to hire adventurers to help recover this and other items. Explore. The road ahead may be long. Ensure you have enough food to avoid starvation. Bandit country. The wilds are a lawless land and perfect hiding place for thieves on the run. Don't prepare. Pathfinder. Use map review to help navigate the treacherous wilds. And we'll I doubt the northerner can offer you anything. Time will tell. Call upon ourselves. Try getting the Keturah and maybe some older stuff. Oh, we have so many new... Okay, we'll take this. This, this. It won't grant us anything, but to have it in just to know what it does oh no well actually the ring of food sounds better and we don't have anything against tears but if I remember correctly swords Fine against thieves, because if you have heavy weaponry, these they foes will I chased before you. you. These rules, I do not know truly if they will train you for the challenges that Callus will place in your way. Of course, we know how this part of the story ends. Yeah. The Emperor is merely the face on the throne, behind him, the usurper pulls the strings. The one who sits upon the throne of life and death has a great influence upon the world. Their very soul permeates the lands and fills the hearts of the people. The shrill voice of the town crier rings out across the market square. The Emperor himself, six adventurers, guild members, urgent expedition, vital to the safety of the Empire. You spot a crowd of travelers weighed down with weapons and tools lingering nearby. The Empire is offering a reward just to set off on the expedition. Even more if we make it out. Oh, even more if we make it back. That's how desperate they are for help. Hmm. Nice. The Empire does not ask for much. But in the end they take everything. On arriving at the gates of the royal palace, an armed escort leads you directly the Emperor's chambers. The Emperor remains still and silent as his chief council lays out the expedition. A few relics from the last age still endure in this world. We had one in this very room until last night. She gestures to the an empty pedestal. Not only must you reclaim the stone symbol of our power, we ask you that you gather its three sibling relics. Uh, okay, who stole it? Evidence suggests a thief. Oh, really? They seized on a weak spot, spot in the in our guard's schedule. There are many treasures in the palace. It is curious that this is all they stole. Few relics from the last age still over it. Examine the pistol. An early pillow sits at the stone pillar. In the dust you make out the shape of a jagged blade. It was a ceremonial sword. It sat for decades under our protection. We're not protecting it, you understand. We're protecting those who would try to possess it. The blade is cursed. Its venom strikes both wielder and foe in equal me measure. Ah, uh, sure, I'm ready. Hold, adventurer. It took skilled and dangerous thieves to steal the artifact. We need to ensure you'll be safe out there. See your training officer on the way out. I 
keen eye will notice that themes repeat themselves. Events too. The wheel ever turns. You are greeted by Captain Estrella Fior. Thieves are cards at heart. They will dodge your heaviest attacks just as they dodge their civic duty. As we've played, it's best to defeat them. Here, try this out. Oh no. I never understood the duel. If you are at war, use every tool at your disposal. If I not, hate... let things lie. I hate tigers. Your quest takes you far away from the city. Vast wildlands stretch out before you. The companion reminds you of the Emperor's mission. One relic was stolen by brazen thieves. Another is in the clutches of a shady merchant. One is enshrined in a small village in the east. As for the last, called called beyond strikes, who knows? Okay, and we're short on food. Uh, Can you reach the end of this challenge before you starve to death? Time will I tell. Hope. The wilds are home to many a rebel criminal and beast. Which sword do I have after all? Against Nordners, okay. I will use it. <laughs> yes, I would rather have uh, I would rather be done with this sword and token than starting another one. Colbjorn. His family lost, his clan turned against him. Colbjorn has traveled south in search of meaning. When activated, Colbjorn performs a charging attack that causes stun and make no down with on enemies. Stay close to charge his ability faster. I don't know why, but I remember him wearing a... An death. Oh, again, I tried to dodge. Use against thief. Oh my goodness. Oh, he killed him. Hey! I, I tried. What the hell? I actually don't know what happened. I tried. Finishing the other piece for some reason, and for some reason it will be war. Hmm. With the battle resolved, you scavenge what you can from the remains. Oh, good. Give me the shield. Yep. Food. Even peace hides steel within. I don't care, give me more of those. This way I can maybe get some food one day. How many bearing of food? So, you may never know the terror of a shield splintering in battle. Reinforced shield captain, so. No, you don't. Can you kill at least one of those? Okay, that's good. That's fine. And the last one. Now please try hitting and do it's worth it. Getting two like reposts out of this fight is totally worth it. Okay, 
maybe I should sell some of those. Uh, it's no, it's uh, good against crap. It was one max life. It's affecting starvation damage. Think about what has been lost simply to grant you comfort. I don't care. Here we begin to see the potential of cards based around fame. If you can force them from your deck and into your hands, you can begin to exploit their power. Ah, uh, so the raiders have destroyed our village, the elder explains. We had no value to steal, find. I heard they now attack us for sport. Let me give you some advice, he continues. Preparation is key to victory. Never begin a quest without first stacking the deck in favor. He looks at you with pale eyes. May your deeds of greatness ever regaled in song and told in tale. May you ever be remembered. I hoped you would give me some food. Strange things still exist. Do you not see the beauty in this plant? Yeah. Two wonders still remain. Treat it gently. High on a misty mountain top, you discover a vicious looking plant. Its guy its gaping mouth looks more than capable of shredding you to pieces. But at its base you notice some unusual food. If you throw something, you may be able to distract the savage mouth, thus allowing you to steal some food. Okay, you inspect your supply for something suitable. Yes! Yes! You launch your cutthroat blades at the creature. With a snap of the jaws, the item disappears. You pluck one of the fruits while it is distracted. The fruit is especially delicious, leaving you feeling refreshed and vigorous. Whoa! The creature crawls up to protect the remaining fruit as you leave the area. Yet inattention leads to disaster. Not every inch of the wilderness is peaceful. The wilds are sometimes treacherous and harmful. You pluck some juicy wild berries from a thorn covered thicket. The realization they are poisonous arrive far too late. Please don't keep them. Just don't get max life. One more relic is within your grasp. Who hired these thieves? That is the true question. The thieves' erratic movement crosses right into your path. You catch them frantically loading the relic onto a horse and cart. That's all enough of a couple of minutes while we ready the horses. Uh, well, I won't just give it up. Oh, oh, it's not a couple of minutes, it's less than a couple of minutes. Okay. I don't know whether we stand a chance in this one. Oh my god, especially if I get hit like that. Colbjorn can kill that one. Let's hit. That was way too close and I would like it to be. After clearing out the thief's camp, you quickly locate the relic. Torrance plate. Enemy something. 40% more damage? Oh, in the next combat. Okay. I like that. You examine the relic closely and feel a sense of great unease. A moment Aww. of peace on your travels. Savor it. The wilds are welcoming. They are bound to plentiful. In the bed of a river, you find some discarded coins. I want some food! While traversing a dangerous cliff face, you slip and lose your footing. Though relatively un unharmed, the same cannot be saved for the pack of travelers' rations. It broke your fall. Those who are desperate can never hope to get the best possible oh. price.
No, no, no! Damn it! I just want to leave. Ancient smiths have considered the same issues we do. How to handle hunger and resources during battle. Mm. I don't know what I wanted or not. Hmm. Gain 30 defense if you have 20 plus food. 30% which means free. Gain extra for traditional free food up to food as nice. Hmm, well, it is a better. No, I still would rather lose one max life instead of one. I. Oh. You had to do it now, right? You are starving now. Every fresh encounter will cause you damage. Tread carefully. A traveling cartographer in the process of making the first full map of the Empire wishes you to pay you gold for the for information on areas you have seen in your recent travels. I need not know every st stream or stone that lies from here to the capital. I'm sure whatever knowledge you can provide will be of some worth. Return later. Come back. Yeah. Right now for ten cards. These oh. are the choices that make the hero or the villain. The town crier announces the Empire six mercenaries to join the battle against corruption. We seek out the watchtower where recruitment is taking place. We arrive in time to hear some Mali vowels plan to wipe out the Purpur's district. The outbreak began there and we cannot risk sparing any of their lives, he says. Sir Mali Fowl the Green leads the mercenaries to the Pope district where the poor and sick have been walled off from the rest of the city. Over the wailing of the corrupted, Sir Malifowl gives his command to charge. You find yourself surrounded by corrupted. I forgot there's the big one. <laughs> oh my goodness, this will be long. Really? I had to roll. I that. I can roll through every enemy, but not this one. Say, <laughs> so Malifowl commands you for bravery and diversity or reward. Give me some food! Give me food! Well, I can buy some. <gasps> I am gaining food from you. And okay. so we see the home of the northerner and his oh. reasons for leaving. Cold Bjorn returns to his home, village to partake in toil, the ritual cleaning of his people's ancestral grave mounds. He invites you to accompany him. We can, but because we have no blessings. Can I return here like... Okay, I can. That's good. Your supplies are exhausted. Unless you find some food, you will surely perish. Ooh. Rain a city is still a city, even when haunted by death. Rain rolls down shattered windows uh, as you walk the streets of Iron Peak. Fear and exhaustion seeps for, seep from the city's crumbling walls. You had passed through desert, the deserted city gates alongside a ragtag band of fortune seekers, each one looking to claim their head of Achilles. Achilles? Achilles? The Prince of Poisons and the source of Iron Speak mass murders. You, however, seek an altogether different target, the bounty hunter of legend, 
Cruel Katura. You are building a rebellion, and the woman who took down the winter triplets would be a welcome addition. Iron Peak at the Hound Inn. Through dubious channels, Malachipes had uh, ascertained the hunter's last known whereabouts. It's a pointless quest, coin slave. Kukatura does not understand the current concept of friendship. If you're very lucky, perhaps she'll really shoot you in the foot. A weary hinkeeper serves pins to rowdy mercenaries in a few exhausted city guards. Ask, uh, let's ask about Achilles. He approached a flushed face mercenary at the bar. The poison prince? He shouts. He's the one we're all looking for. 500 gold pieces. He sets up his poison contraption somewhere quiet, and by the time anyone finds it, it's too late. A somber expression crosses his face. Terrible, really. I hope there's no one left to dig the graves. Still, can't say no to 500 gold pieces. Even in times like this, some will look to profit. That's why you're here, isn't it? Just like the rest of us. The ruddy cheeked mercenary slaps you on the back and returns to his table. A weary innkeeper serves beans. Okay, let's ask about Kutura. Third innkeeper nods as he listens to your description and points behind you. That's her, in it? Hi. The inn falls silent at the arrival of grizzled woman with the brass blunder bass strapped to her back. Crew Katura. She must have been tall in her youth, but age has bent and withered her. An old rag holds back her tangled locks. The line of her mouth is set to a permanent scrawl. Hey! A lanky bandit with a tattooed skull pushes through the crowd and points a dagger accusingly at the old bounty hunter. Katura, you little cow! We meet again. It is I, Oskel, feared amongst bandits. Kitura blinks and shakes her head, then reaches for her firearms with a heavy sigh. Oskel and his crew sneer at the old woman as she methodically loads her weapon. Mm. <laughs> Slap. I like this one already. Uh, let's declare that you will fight by her side. Kitura, Oskel, and the inn's inhabitants turn at you sudden interjection. The innkeeper and his kitchen hand are roused by the rufus and toss you into the street. You find yourself outside the tavern facing down Oscar and his menacing crew, crew Keturah by your side. I don't mind. I hope she does you do it. A good use of her blunderbuss. Because I don't like this card. I do not like the way it looks. Yeah. Oscar the Finn, one of Crew Kutura's many enemies. Assassins perform quick heavy attacks, use evade or perish. Let's see what you can do, yeah. No! Okay. At least I tried. Okay, now that's now that was bad. Nope. You don't. No! No! Okay, just run away. No! Okay, just try to run away. Can you? Ah! Back to look what I can see. Oh my goodness. Come back to your life. Maybe you will get some food. Hopefully. The old woman spits blood onto the cobbled street. Yes, you will do. And let's ask about Achilles. The prince of poison is no ordinary cry. Why? It will lead us to him. I will lead us to him and you will fight by my side. She raises her hand for to shake. I know why you sought me out. I know no flag, but if at the end of this I should find Achilles set at my feet, I will spend my remaining breaths on your little rebellion. A reward Yay! well earned. Yay! Whoop. 
Yes. Hey. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. More food. Can you claim this token? I don't know. While strolling the docks of Iron Peak, a tattooed woman calls to you from a small fishing sloop. As she shakes your head, she draws herself as Verna Ishmael, captain of the SS Remarkable. You look strong of arm and sure of aim. Have you considered a career in the fast paced world of the deep sea harpoon fishing? Eh? It's a popular pastime among the kinds of folk who needed to prove their physical prowess, she says, playing fishing a rust covered harpoon. I can get you out of the water and the water right now. Or for a little extra gold, I know where I can acquaint a premium harpoon. It will help set your aim. Find her, the sea begins. Okay, let's fish. Captain Rana sails your boat away from the docks, out into the open waters. As the shoreline disappears, Rana drops anchor. You need me to tell you how this works. Or are you ready to throw some harpoon around? Yeah, let's start. You, can, you get a firm grip on the harpoon and take aim at the reef below. Ooh. I guess we're trying to the hit. The pendulum oh. swings like a scythe, bearing hope one? or failure. With unerring accuracy, your harpoon plunges deeper into the reef. Okay. Nicely timed. <laughs> the harpoon descends to the lowest reaches of the reef. The merchant vessel's treasure glitters tantalizingly on the ocean floor. Oh my goodness. No. 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 Your harpoon bears itself in something solid. Rana howls your catch up onto the deck. A tool of life and Ooh. of death. Aim a spell that deals 50 damage to the first enemy it hits, because more damage when your life is low. Max 500 damage? Nice. Among the coins and confused sea urchins, you spy a curious gauntlet. It hums with arcane power as you slide it over your hand. Thank you! The sun hangs low on the horizon. Rana raises the anchor and says, Time to return to the docks! and to distribute the sea's bounty. Rana scoops a pile of gold coins out of the waterlogged treasure chest. Not what I was expecting to hold up, but good enough. Thank you! Rana gives you a casual shot salute and a bucket of chum dangling from her arm. If you ever want to go out to on the water again, you know where to find me. I sure you do. Thank you for the food. There is little I can say that will stop an adventurer pilfering ancient artifacts. Oh, well, the village of Dornage is unremarkable, save for a tiny forgotten shrine. Here you find another relic resting on a dusty altar. An old woman greets you. I see you are interested in our relic. Local legends tell of our time when a great hero will come to claim it. Until then, it remains here under the owl patch. I'm the hero! The woman ex examines you for a moment before falling to her knees and prayer. You have arrived! Just as foretold! Our savior! <laughs> Those one for each time you use a companion ability. Oh my goodness! They examine the very closely into a sense of great and ease. No who I hope I cannot lose those stuff that no, it's in here. It was the other one. What was the other thing I picked up? Oh, they're, they're both okay. But there's both of them. In your life, you will have wandered endless intersections. Definitely not going Yet that this way. This one sticks with you. Why? What is it in your memory that catches here? Oh, hello. I have little sense of trust for wandering merchants. True bargains are rarely found with those who are unwilling to wait around for their customers to test their wares. 
You find the traveling salesman wandering the wilds by the way, like, to the way. <laughs> I've only ever seen this much going in my dreams. Merchant seems pleased with the sale. Discard the first game card you receive. Oh, on each level. This relic is good. Before cool Bjorn can finish, the relics start to vibrate and hum, then glow with eerie, unnatural light. Your eye is drawn to a similar glow emanating in response from a distant tower. Do you think they're trying to tell us something? Called Bjorn with smiles. Let's get moving. Okay, do, you, do I worry? Nope. Oh, maybe I should. God damn it! Anarchist! Why? Oh, basically. Because I'm angry at this game. They're giving me anarchists. Like Deadly at a distance, only the most skilled are recruited into musketeer. Musketeers are Fire heavy attacks, defended with a shield, else evade for your life. And there's still a small life. Oh, right. Our time has come, so be it. Nope. Okay, one's done. Don't use cold gun. Oh my goodness. that necessitated these additions to the game, you understand. I knew you were approaching and tailored things around your lust for fame. You follow the sound of hammering into the town. Now, uh, inside, a tiny man stands atop a stool, chipping away at a row of marble sculptures. Impressive, isn't it? Saint Malifaro of Kadir is a great patron of the arts. You could be too. Sure. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay, I think it's this one. Sometime later, you're going to see the finished product. An exact replica of, your, of you stands in the town hall among sculptures of nobles. I guarantee such a statue symbol will earn you great, great admiration from the people of the Empire, says the sculptor. Well, then, it is over. At least. There are, there are no 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 Oh my god, no, I didn't see it. Thank you. Try and hit me, come on. Oh, okay, I screwed that one. And that one. If the battle resolves this challenge, what you can cause. The power rage grants is often misunderstood. I would rather stick to the no, actually. We already have eleven food and we don't need more. Hmm. A simple part of every story. 
especially a tale spent in the company of allies and boon companions. As I choose any return to the Rust Razor, the proprietor greets you warmly. What can I provide to the savior of the race to Rusty Razor? You buy buy a meal or rest. What do you require? Uh, nothing really. Okay, I can heal myself. Yeah. Here we see yet another wheel, uh, each different, so yet good. each bearing their yeah. own similarities. I don't mind. Let's see what you do with that, given your position. I'm gonna leave and see the cartographer again. Wealth through exploration. Ooh, we have many cool. lands to discover, you and I. If you cannot make use of this, I will question your skills. He is totally impressed with the knowledge he has gained from travel from your travels. Thank you for your token. And now let's go. And now you must begin to ask yourself how these threats connect. Were you simply a patsy for the Empire? Or did you hope to be something greater? The relics lead you to Mystery Sour. You will need to ascend it to reach the mage at its summit. A storm swells ominously overhead. Oh, 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 oh. I don't like how fast it is going. As you climb the tower stairs, a voice calls down from above. Do you ever know why you... Do you even know why you're here? How much did they tell you when they over ordered you out into the wilds? When they sent you out here like a dog after a bone? You continue to wind your way up the tower. I think... You finally reach the top of the tower. You've been sent here to do the bidding of the true enemy. These relics can be used to defeat him, but here you are looking to return them to him. I see you bring the relics, the mage says with a boom. A thief can be trusted to deliver on a job, but one can always rely on the predictability of the Empire to send their dogs. She holds the remaining relic out mockingly. I suppose you will be wanting this. Take it, she says calmly. But be warned, its course will sap your strength and your will to fight, and combat is inevitable, I'm afraid. Or, she continues, you can let me keep it, but should you best me, it will be lost to you forevermore. I'll take it. Eh. The relic is heavier in your hands than you expected, and its presence clouds your fault. Mitch laughs. You Imperial Masters would be most proud, prepared to meet your fate. Of course, you struggle to lift your weapon as a group of thieves join the fray. Luckily, we have a really strong spell. I haven't used it once, but it does minimum of 50 damage. That much I know. <laughs> Up to 500. Based on my missing health, but I'm not missing too much health, so it's not gonna be too perfect. This mage went to extraordinary lengths to gather these relics. Mages shoot projectiles from a distance, use a way to avoid their attack. Nope. No, oh, okay, okay, I did like this. No! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness! Nope! Oh. I wanna use it! Nice. No, she ensnared me! Hold the arm! I hope it doesn't hit me. Okay, it didn't. No! Oh, I tried. I tried. Really, I tried. I... Okay, that was my fault. You took my heal!
With the relics recovered, you, you journey back to the Imperial City to claim your reward. Captain Estrella meets you at the city gate. I will take you straight to the Chief Council. She will be there to examine what you brought back. On the walk to the palace, you explain that you saved to recover all of the relics. This may be a rare day when the Council will smile, Estrella says. You can see her trying to catch the words as they've come out. My apologies, this is indeed another glorious day for the Empire. The Chief Council looks over the relics you've returned. You have done well. We shall keep these relics safe, lest they fall into less learned hands. Every part of this tale is a part of your history, a part of the reasons Ooh. that bring you here. I hate those places. Really, <laughs> I never could grasp how the hell they work, how to make them work properly. How is you connected to Cardo Cracker? Oh, this is for the hand blast, nice. <laughs> hey! And I don't think we'll go for the endless quiet yet? Maybe? I'm not sure myself. We might. But for now, that's gonna be it. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon!